Welcome, health enthusiasts and curious minds alike. Today we dive into the world of meditation and its profound impact on mental health. Meditation, a practice steeped in antiquity, has pervaded numerous cultures throughout centuries, serving as a cornerstone of spiritual growth and self-discovery. Its roots delve deep into the fertile soil of ancient civilizations, from the serene Zen gardens of Japan to the vibrant yoga traditions of India. Fast forward to the bustling pace of the 21st century, and we find meditation thriving in a new context, mental health. As the world grows increasingly complex, the human mind seeks respite, a sanctuary of calm, amidst the chaos. That's where meditation steps in, offering a lifeline to tranquility and balance. It's not about escaping reality but learning to navigate it with grace, resilience, and a clear mind. So, are you ready to unravel the mysteries of meditation and its benefits for mental health? Let's dive in. As we embark on this journey into the realm of meditation, it's essential to understand that there are many paths to peace. Each type of meditation serves a unique purpose and offers a different approach to achieving tranquility and mental clarity. First, let's explore mindfulness meditation. This form of meditation encourages the practitioner to remain aware and present in the moment. Rather than dwelling on the past or dreading the future, mindfulness urges us to live in the present, to observe the world around us without judgment. It's a practice that can be incorporated into everyday activities like eating, walking, or even simply breathing. Next, we have Transcendental Meditation. This technique involves the use of a mantra, a specific word or phrase that's silently repeated to help focus the mind. It's a more structured form of meditation, often practiced for 15, 20 minutes twice a day. Transcendental meditation can serve as a vehicle to guide you into a state of deep relaxation and transcendental consciousness, where peace and clarity abound. Finally, let's delve into loving-kindness meditation, also known as meta-meditation. This form of meditation involves directing well-wishes and love towards yourself and others. It's a practice that fosters compassion, kindness and understanding, not just for others, but for oneself. Each type of meditation has its unique benefits and methods, the key is to find the one that resonates with you, the one that feels like a natural extension of your thoughts and feelings. Remember, meditation is not a destination, but a journey of self-discovery and personal growth. Meditation, a practice as old as time, but what does it truly entail? At its core, meditation is a practice that involves focusing your mind to achieve a mentally clear and emotionally calm state. It's about training your mind to focus and redirect your thoughts. This ancient practice has been a cornerstone of various cultures and religions for thousands of years. Now there are many forms of meditation, each with its unique focus and purpose. Some forms like mindfulness meditation involve focusing on the present moment, acknowledging and accepting it without judgment. Others, such as transcendental meditation, involve the repetition of a mantra, a word or sound, to help the practitioner focus their thoughts. Contrary to popular belief, meditation is not just about achieving spiritual enlightenment or transcending the physical realm. Sure, it can be a spiritual practice for many, but it's not exclusively so. It's a versatile tool that can be used for various purposes, from reducing stress and anxiety to improving concentration and productivity. And let's debunk another common misconception while we're at it. Meditation is not about emptying the mind or stopping all thoughts. It's about acknowledging your thoughts, feelings and sensations without judgment. It's about observing without getting caught up in the narrative. The beauty of meditation is in its simplicity and accessibility. Anyone can do it, anywhere, at any time. You don't need any special equipment or a specific setting. All you need is a quiet place where you can sit comfortably and focus your mind. Meditation is also not a one-size-fits-all practice. It can be adapted to suit your needs and preferences. You can meditate for as little as five minutes a day or as long as an hour. You can do it alone or in a group. You can follow guided meditations or develop your own practice. In essence, meditation is a journey of self-discovery and self-improvement. It's about cultivating mindfulness, enhancing focus, and fostering a sense of inner peace and well-being. Now that we have a better understanding of what meditation is, it's time to explore how it affects our mental health. Before we dive into the science of meditation's impact on mental health, let's take a moment to clear up some common misconceptions about meditation. These myths often deter people from incorporating this beneficial practice into their lives. First, meditation is not about emptying your mind or stopping all thoughts, it's about observing your thoughts and feelings without judgment or attachment. It's perfectly normal for your mind to wander during meditation. 
the key is to gently bring your focus back without berating yourself. Second, you don't need to meditate for hours on end to reap the benefits of meditation. Even a few minutes of focused mindfulness can have a profound impact on your mental state. It's more about the quality of your practice than the quantity. Third, meditation is not exclusively a religious or spiritual practice. While it is a part of many religious traditions, at its core, meditation is a mental exercise that can be practiced by anyone, regardless of their religious or spiritual beliefs. So, no matter who you are, where you're from, or what you believe in, meditation can be a valuable tool for enhancing your mental health and well-being. Now that we've cleared up some misconceptions, let's delve into the fascinating science behind meditation and mental health. Meditation and mental health, an unlikely duo with a scientific connection. Science has shown us that meditation is not just a feel-good exercise, but it has profound impacts on our mental health. Multiple studies have discovered a fascinating link between meditation and improved mental health. Let's delve into how meditation affects the brain. When we meditate, we're essentially training our brains. Like any form of exercise, this training results in changes. Neuroscientists have found that regular meditation can lead to what is known as neuroplasticity. This is the brain's ability to change and adapt, building new connections and pathways. One area of the brain significantly impacted by meditation is the prefrontal cortex. This region is associated with higher-order brain functions such as awareness, concentration, and decision-making. Studies have shown that meditation can help increase the thickness of the prefrontal cortex, enhancing these abilities. Now let's talk about stress, anxiety, and depression, the common culprits of poor mental health. Meditation has been found to reduce the size of the amygdala, the part of the brain responsible for our fight-or-flight response. A smaller amygdala means less stress and anxiety. Moreover, meditation stimulates the production of happy hormones like serotonin and endorphins, which naturally elevate our mood and combat depression. It also decreases the production of cortisol, the stress hormone, thus helping manage stress levels better. Meditation also promotes alpha and theta brainwave activity, which is associated with relaxation and mindfulness. This state not only helps us feel calmer and more focused, but also improves our ability to handle stress and anxiety. The evidence is clear. Meditation has a real tangible impact on our brains, and in turn, our mental health. This is not some ancient wisdom or spiritual mumbo-jumbo. It's proven science documented in respected journals worldwide. With science backing up the benefits of meditation, it's hard not to be intrigued, isn't it? But that's not all. There's more to this story. Did you know that meditation isn't just good for the mind, but it's also beneficial for the body? Yes, you heard it right. While we've extensively discussed the mental benefits of meditation, it's time to shed some light on how this practice can positively affect our physical health. Let's start with one of the most significant benefits, lowering blood pressure. High blood pressure is a common issue in today's fast-paced, stress-filled world. But guess what? Regular meditation can help keep it in check. Studies have shown that meditation by reducing stress and promoting relaxation can help lower blood pressure levels. This consequently reduces the risk of heart disease and stroke. Next up is sleep. A good night's sleep is crucial for our overall well-being. Yet many of us struggle with insomnia and other sleep-related issues. Here's where meditation steps in. By calming the mind and reducing anxiety, meditation can significantly improve sleep quality. It helps you fall asleep faster, stay asleep longer, and wake up feeling refreshed. And it doesn't stop there. Believe it or not, meditation can also give your immune system a boost. The reason? Stress and anxiety can weaken your immune system, making you more susceptible to illnesses. By reducing stress, meditation can help strengthen your immune system, making it better equipped to fight off diseases. So, as you can see, the benefits of meditation extend far beyond the mind. It's a holistic practice that promotes both mental and physical well-being. And the best part? It's accessible to everyone, regardless of age or physical condition. So why not give it a try? In our next segment, we will hear from real people who have experienced the transformative power of meditation firsthand. Stay tuned. Science is one thing, but personal stories can often speak volumes. So let's dive into some real-life anecdotes and testimonials from individuals who have experienced the benefits of meditation for their mental health. First up, we have John, a corporate professional. He found himself tangled in a web of stress and anxiety, a byproduct of his high-pressure job. He started meditating for just 10 minutes each morning. After a few weeks, John noticed a significant decrease in his stress levels. 
he reported feeling more composed, focused, and productive at work. Meditation, in his words, was a game changer. Next, meet Jane, a university student. The pressure of maintaining grades and a social life was taking a toll on her mental well-being. She decided to give meditation a try. Jane began with simple mindfulness meditations, focusing on her breath. Gradually, she increased her meditation time. Within a few months, Jane found herself more at ease with her academic pressures. She felt a renewed sense of energy and positivity. She even noticed an improvement in her grades. Let's move on to Sarah, a mother of two. Juggling between her job and her family, Sarah found herself constantly exhausted and on edge. She started meditating to find an oasis of calm in her chaotic life. Sarah began her journey with guided meditations. Over time she found that not only did her stress levels decrease but she also felt more present and engaged with her kids. A true testament to the transformative power of meditation. And finally, we have Tom, a retired military officer. Post-retirement Tom struggled with anxiety and restlessness. He turned to meditation as a means to cope. Tom found solace in Zen meditation practices. He reports a significant decrease in his anxiety levels and an overall improvement in his quality of life. Inspiring isn't it? These stories show us the tangible impact of meditation on mental health. Remember, these are ordinary people just like you and me. They found extraordinary strength and resilience in the practice of meditation. And if they can do it, so can you. Let's continue our exploration of the world of meditation in the next segment. Now that we know the benefits of meditation, how can we incorporate it into our daily lives? This is a question that many of us might be asking ourselves. Well, the good news is, it's simpler than you might think. The first step to incorporating meditation into your daily routine is to find a time that works best for you. This could be in the morning when you first wake up, during your lunch break or even before bed. What's important is that you choose a time when you can be free of distractions and can dedicate a few moments to quiet and focus. Once you've found your ideal time, it's crucial to create a space where you feel comfortable and at ease. This doesn't have to be an elaborate setup. It could be a corner of your room, a chair in your living room or even a spot in your garden. The key is to make it a place where you feel relaxed and can focus on your meditation practice. Now let's talk about duration. When you're just starting out, even a few minutes of meditation can make a difference. Start with just two to five minutes each day, and as you get more comfortable, gradually increase the duration. Remember the goal isn't to meditate for hours on end, but to establish a regular practice that fits into your daily routine. The next tip is to be patient with yourself. Like anything new, meditation takes practice, and it's normal to have thoughts pop into your mind during your sessions. Don't beat yourself up if your mind wanders. Instead, gently bring your focus back to your breath or your chosen point of focus. Lastly, consistency is key. The benefits of meditation come with regular practice, so make a commitment to yourself to practice daily even if it's just for a few minutes. And remember it's better to meditate for a short time each day than to meditate for a long time once in a while. With these tips you are well on your way to starting a life-changing meditation practice. As we come to the end of our journey, it's clear that meditation is more than just a buzzword. It's a powerful, accessible tool that can have a profound impact on our mental health. We've delved into its intricacies, explored the science behind its benefits, and heard personal stories about its transformative power. Remember, incorporating meditation into your daily routine doesn't have to be daunting. Start small, even a few minutes each day can make a difference. Allow yourself to experience the calm, the focus, the clarity that meditation can bring. It's a practice that can help us navigate the ups and downs of life with a little more grace and resilience. Thank you for joining us on this enlightening journey. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment below saying, I subscribe, and we'll do our best to respond to your comments. Until next time, keep exploring, keep learning, and keep meditating.